Your inters by now are probably really, really good, but they can always be better. And today I want to share with you my top five rendering resources to make any scene come to life. First on the list is adsum.io. Now, this is relatively new to me and I've only recently discovered it, but adsum is an incredible resource for all things interior design. If you're looking for designer furniture from anywhere around the world, you're going to find it on adsum. Adsum is a general collective of designer furniture, from armchairs to sofas to everything in between. All you need to do is sign up with a completely free account and you get five free downloads every single day. If five isn't enough, you can always subscribe for more. However, I've found that five free downloads is perfect for most scenarios. Almost every product on their website has some form of 3D file. Now, if you're entering into Emotion, Enscape, 3ds Max, or potentially even loading your model in Revit, Archicad, or SketchUp, it has generally most of these files. So you can download one particular file type or one that works for your software. It has definitely been my go-to choice for incredible design furniture. Mainly because design furniture, you either have to go to the manufacturer and wait weeks to get that 3D library, or you can never find the exact replica of the piece that you're looking for. So on AdSum, they have all the designer furniture catalog right there ready to go. And you can rest assured that these are real products people can buy. They might not be affordable, but you can definitely buy them, which is a huge win when you're trying to sell interior designs as a service. Next on the list is 3D Sky. And just like AdSum, 3D Sky allows you to sign up to a free account and gives you three free downloads per day. Now, Three free downloads compared to five, you add them together, you're laughing and you've got about eight models a day that you can download. The downside with 3D Sky is it's very similar to add some. It has all of your architectural furniture that you need. It also has some incredible vehicles, street furniture and everything in between. It's basically the go-to for incredible 3D rendering. However, these aren't specifically labeled products. So if you're looking for the exact replica of a piece that you found in the store, or that you wish to import from another country, you might not be able to find that exact object very easily. You're gonna to have to search for sofa and then troll through hundreds of pages until you find something similar. Now on 3D Sky, this is an incredibly, incredibly tedious task. However, they do have some incredible 3D models. Some of the best that I've seen on the internet so far. As three is just too limiting for you, you can buy packages to download as many as you wish. Just like AdSum, 3D Sky has all of the formats from OBJs to FBX and everything in between. 3D Sky is definitely more focused on the rendering software than the actual modeling software. So if you're rendering 3D Sky, if you're rendering and modeling, AdSum has some better options. Moving on to BIM Object. Now BIM Object is for actual modeling. It is for documentation, but I found it incredibly useful for 3D rendering as well. BIM Object is a little bit more nerdy and a little bit more technical. We're moving away from the pretty furniture, we're moving away from those incredible 3D models into the technical side of things. We have our washing machine, we have our dryers, our dishwashers, air conditioning vents, mechanical units, everything and in between. If you're looking for a brand name like Fisher & Paykel, for example, you'll find it on BIM Objects. You'll find almost all of their library. If you're looking for Phoenix Tapware, somebody who supplies incredible fixtures and fittings for bathrooms and wet areas, you'll find that a bit object. You won't find these things anywhere else. You can obviously go to each one of these individual websites and try to download their libraries and their content, which is absolutely fine. You can go ahead and do that. But Bill Objects gives you a centralized hub. The best thing, Bill Objects is completely free. You just sign up, add your email and away you go. You can download as many as you need or entire libraries at a time. It's completely up to you. Now that we've covered the interior pretty much holistically, we can move on to the exterior. Glow Plants has an incredible selection, vegetation from around the world. It doesn't matter if you're located in the Pacific Northwest, Australia, Antarctica, anywhere in the world, Glow Plants is going to have a series of selections that is going to be perfect for your render and your scene. Now, by no means is Glow Plants cheap. It's not even free. There's not even a free option to download one or two to trial. It is incredibly expensive, but these are lifelong assets that will change your entire scene 
I've personally used Globe Plants in the past. I've worked with Globe Plants in the past. And so there is a discount code. If you just choose Data Tommy to check out, you will get a discount. But this video is not sponsored by them at all. It is my genuine love for Globe Plants and the resources that they're providing to the entire world. They're literally creating 3D assets for people all around the world. And for somebody like me who lives in Australia, Globe Plants is catering to a very niche market, but they're doing a fantastic job. And basically anybody in Australia that wants Australian native plants or things that would generally grow in Australia, you're gonna have to go somewhere like Globe Plants. And last but not least is Polyhaven. Now, Polyhaven is a very simple resource. It's number five on the list, but it should be number one because this is where you're starting your actual rendering process. Polyhaven is my go-to place for HDRI skies and textures. Generally, we don't need too many more textures once we've set up our library, but if there's one or two unique things that you're missing, Polyhaven has them available for you. But more importantly, they have the best HDRI skies in 2K, 4K, or even 8K if you're willing push your renders to the absolute maximum. They have a huge variety of both indoor and outdoor scenes and everything in between. So once you start setting up your render scenes, you wanna make sure you import the best HDRI sky. And the easiest way is going through Polyhaven, finding the perfect fit for your scene, dragging and dropping it directly in, and then moving forward with your best render to date. Anyway, that is all for me team. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the subscribe button down below. We're going for 100,000 subscribers. Massive milestone. With your help, we can get there. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Otherwise, I'll see you next week.